Yeah, this calculation comes from our textbook. It is question six on activity 1.7, and we are using Norton's theorem. Now we need to calculate the current flowing through the 15 ohm resistor using Norton's theorem. Now if you take get this, a look at this electric circuit, you'll see that R1 and R2 are actually in series. So if you want to simplify those two resistors into one resistor, you can just say R1 plus R2, 2 plus 6, and that will give you 8 ohms. So you can actually cancel out um, these these, res these values here and this resistor and then we have a single resistor which then becomes 8 ohms that will make a calculation a lot easier right so the first step um, that in order to solve for the load current through the 15 ohm resistor just a reminder we first need to calculate the uh, short circuit current to calculate the short circuit current it's basically the same as Norton's current I Norton and you can see that we have short circuited the load resistor over here and we want to calculate the current through that short circuit. So to calculate that, you have um, R3 and R4 using our current divider rule. So we have R3 over R3 plus R4 multiply by I total. So as you can see, we still need to calculate the total current. Okay, so to calculate the total current, we use Ohm's law. Um, it's going to be I total is equal to V total over R total. Okay, we've got the total voltage. It is uh, 60 volts. So now we need to calculate the resistance total. So to calculate the resistance total, um, we're going to add R1 and R2 together. R1 plus R2, that will give us our series resistor. And our series resistor is connected in series to a parallel branch. So we'll have R3 multiply by R4 using the product sum rule. Okay, R3 plus R4. So our first resistor is uh, 2 ohms plus 6 ohms. And then we have our parallel branch and we can use the product sum rule here. R3 is 20 ohms. Oh, multiply, sorry, multiply at the top, add at the bottom. R4, 5 ohms, and then 20 plus 5. Okay, that will give us a resistance total of uh, 12 ohms. So now that we've got the resistance total, we can calculate the current total. V total, 60, divided by 12, gives us a current total of uh, 5 amps. Right, now we can go ahead and substitute them. So for our current divider rule, we have R3 which is uh, 20 ohms over 20 plus R4, which is 5 ohms. And we multiply by the total current of 5 amps. And therefore, we have a short circuit current of uh, 4 amps, which is the same as Norton's current. Okay, now in the next step, we're going to calculate uh, Norton's resistance by removing the voltage source. So what we've done over here is we've gone ahead and removed the voltage source and we are now calculating uh, Norton's resistance. To calculate Norton's resistance, we use the, um, let's just see, remember these two resistors here are in series? Okay, that's your series resistor. If you add those two together, it will simplify to 8 ohms. So what we're going to do is we're going to say R4, which is your series resistor, and that is connected in series to your parallel resistors using the uh, product sum rule. So it's going to be uh, R3 multiplied by R series over R3 plus R series. So R4 is 5 ohms. And then for our parallel branch, we use the product sum rule. It will be 20 multiplied by 8 over 20 plus 8. And therefore, we get a resistance here of 10,714 ohms. Okay, now that we've got uh, Norton's resistance, we can go ahead and calculate the load current. Now, you can see we've simplified the circuit into Norton's equivalent circuit. So, to calculate the load current, we use the current divider rule. Um, so, to calculate that, we've got Norton's resistance. 
Okay, um, it's going to be Rn of uh, Rn plus Rl multiplied by Norton's current. So we substitute here. We're using Norton's equivalent circuit. So the Norton's resistance 10,714 over 10,714 plus the load resistor of 15 ohms and we multiply by Norton's current of 4 amps and we end up with a load current of 1,667 amps. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video.